Fritos. Oh, yeah, the These are this is ever. this is my wife's favorite candy. Orange Twizzler. I can't have it though. Dang it. Why? Oh, does that have gluten in it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I guess they probably Not use the pixie, weed though. as the binding agent on the licorice. Yeah, all licorice is, is but the pixie stick. The pixie is, stick. Here you go. Pure Here you magical. Go. Have you ever had the one, the the one that? I can't. The, yes, the, the you remember the pixie stick? That it's, it's like this. You get it from like oh, the yeah. ice cream man. Yeah. And then you don't sleep for three days. No. Even this, if you give this to a kid, like the whole thing to to a kid. I should give it to Olive before I lay and fix her up. Oh my gosh, no! Ooh, that's what it's we're so do. bad. At the end of the when we're watching Olive, I'm gonna give one of these full things to Olive. Oh my gosh, it's just pure sugar. It's just great flavored sugar. Oh, so good. It we'll is be good, right though. back. It is good. Good morning, welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. I'm Pastor Jason. It's good to have you with us today. If you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We like to read that on Wednesdays. Real quick, I'd like to, I think I'm gonna run around the church one time. <laughs> you can't if that's all right, just Give one it. trip around. So you can't Those have are my these. favorite. You, you, don't, you don't do gluten, but. No gluten. Yeah, so this is, these are really good though. Oh, I've had these epic. before. Oh, I have too. They're wonderful. It's, it's regular liquor, licorice, but they put sugar inside of the licorice, you know, because there's a hole. Because <laughs> it wasn't, because licorice shoved, wasn't sweet enough. They shoved inside the hole sugar. It's the chalupa of candy. It's, That's what it is. It's yummy. Yeah. So um, Genesis chapter uh, 41 and verse 8. We're talking about your message this last weekend, which was uh, outstanding about. I'm starting to have visions. Getting us back into peace. <laughs> yeah, living a life. Not, okay, so we live a world now where a lot of people say peace is up ahead. I'll have peace when I retire. I'll have peace when I find a spouse. I'll have peace when the kids get out of the house. <laughs> oh, peace when I find a spouse. <laughs> <laughs> that's a favorite one. <laughs> Married people chuckle. <laughs> we go, okay. Yeah, that's enjoy, what you need. Enjoy that peace. <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> but that's not how we're... peace like a river. I got... Go ahead. <laughs> the Bible doesn't say he's going to take you to, we're a, not trying a to path get... to peace. He says a path of peace. We wow. walk in peace. Peace. Peace is not up ahead. Peace is here. Because what happens is you get to retirement and you find out, I still ain't got no peace. You yeah. got the spouse. I found out I still don't have if no I peace. If I have money, I'll have peace. No. No. All your bills are paid and you have no debt. Do you have peace? No. There's tons of people that have tons of money and they have no peace. Right. So we always think that the next thing is going to give you peace. But what you're saying is, is no, you have to learn how to live in God's peace on the no inside. Like we said uh, two days ago, that Jesus gave us his peace. So it's there. Yeah. In the middle of it, because tribulation you'll have with you all, sometimes? Always. Always. You're always going to have problems. You're always on planet surfaces. Earth. And God says, here's the thing. <laughs> you're on Earth. <laughs> Look at Google Earth. Yeah. You're, you're on Earth. You're going to have circumstances. But yeah. here's the thing. As Christians, we've been given peace, and we can be the rock of foundation around the, us, all the people around us, to look at our lives and go, hey, how come, you got, how come you're not stressed out? How yeah. come you're not all freaking out? You know, I wonder how much time people waste. Med you know, your mind can, if there's a limit on how much you can do. I don't want my mind working on stress and worry. Jesus even said that. He goes, stop worrying about tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to take care of itself. Yeah. He's like, think about things that are going to produce in your life. Yeah, it's that mental energy. It's the bandwidth of what, what's going on in my head. And if I'm using up all the bandwidth to be anxious and worry, I'm not thinking at all about how I can be good to my spouse or how I can try hard at the job or mm -hmm. how I can have a good attitude in a bad situation. I'm not thinking about things that could really help me um, elevate in my life because it's just all the noise. If I got in my car and just drove circles in the parking lot. Which is fun. I, we used to do that in the rain. In the rain <laughs> how far do I get, though? If it's wet. And it's, how far do I? I get nowhere. Oh, remember it that? It is fun, though. Oh, my God. In the rain. And I think it's fun to, to have worry and wrong thoughts in our mind. I think that I think we do it because... It feels good, as weird as that sounds. It, you know, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like it's like a pixie, pixie stick. stick. <laughs> <laughs> it is like a pixie It feels good. It will wreck you, though. It uh, will. So Genesis 41 and verse 8, and really we're going to start about, talking about this contrast between Pharaoh, who's living in the palace, and Joseph, who's living in prison. And Pharaoh uh, is troubled. The Bible says right. that he was greatly troubled. Now, he's disturbed. got all the money. He's got all the money. He's got all the power. All the power. He's got everything that we he's think at the we want. He's top of the food chain. He's top. Yep. He's, he's top. He's dog. the big dog. Right. He can. He can. Yeah. He Anything can. he wants. At any time he wants it. And he's not sleeping. But <laughs> but they have to wake Joseph up. I'm sure because he's he's Joseph's at peace. Out. And he's in prison. Has no control over his life. Yeah. At and the everything's bottom. gone bad for him. 
He's at the bottom, yet he's got what we're talking about. And so Genesis 41 and verse 8, And it came to pass in the morning that Pharaoh's spirit was troubled. And this word troubled is pa'am. And it means it, it's like the idea David talks about pa'am is like, I can't sleep. I'm up all night because I'm troubled in right. my spirit. So it's, it's not just anxious. Like it's the kind that makes it so you can't sleep. Wow. Okay, so it's a big one. And he sent and called for the magicians of Egypt and all the wise men thereof, told him his dream, and there was none that could interpret it. Of course, they, one guy's like, hey, there's a guy in prison. I, that can, I know a guy that can interpret it. I, I, I know a guy. I know. Yeah, I Everybody's say, got a guy. Is it cool? I got a guy. I got a guy. I got a guy. He, got a guy. he, he does dreams. He's a He's dream amazing. guy. So they go get him. And, but I love what, what Joseph says now in verse 40, chapter 41 and verse 16. And Joseph answered Pharaoh after, after hearing that. Pharaoh's like, hey, I heard you interpret dreams. He's like, yeah. He goes this, uh, it's not me. It's not, I'm sorry, it's not in me, right? The interpretation of the dream. It's not in me. No. He goes, God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. What? Now, in a lot of translations, just like God will give you the answer you desire. But actually, it uses the word shalom. God's going to bring, God's going to give you an answer of peace. In other words, you're troubled, but God's, God's answer is going to be a victory for you. Wow. But it's, it's a peace. Yeah. It's going to settle you down. You know, what's funny is even though you say it's a victory for you, but Kind of, in a way, even the answer had, like, bad stuff was coming up. Oh, for sure. Having big problems were coming. For sure. But God was able to give them the answer of what to do in the midst of the problems that they're going to face. And God would use the trouble... To catapult them. The Egypt would become the most prosperous nation in the world, which was actually storing up wealth for when the Israelites would leave Egypt... Uh, God was putting right, away four generations him. later. So when, when they left, they actually plundered Egypt and all the gold, which was the money that Joseph earned by interpreting the dream properly wow. and then managing the dream. So, but the, the point that we want to make is that when, when you're troubled, here's what you need. You need an answer from God. Oh, that's so good. So the answer from God will bring you peace. Right. His answer. Why do they get the answer? Yeah, you got to go to the Lord. You have to be like, all right, Father. <laughs> right. And I think that that's an important one that I, I do in my life. Is if, I, if I could just talk about, uh, like, when, when, it, when stress comes to me, anxiousness and worry. Right. Like, even when the church was, we, you know, we got the phone call, we got, saw the news back in March of last year that, hey, schools are closing, churches are closing, governors closing everything down, mm-hmm. and uh, we got to figure out how to have church. Then what did we do? We went, okay, God, what are we going to do? So here comes the stress, right? Right. Oh, gosh, what, how do we, what, I don't know what's going to happen. What's going right. to happen? What's going to happen? Right. We got people that work here. I don't know, there's, there's volunteers, there's people who serve here, people need the word of God. I don't know if you know this, but, but we're totally essential. <laughs> we would be an essential. <laughs> that was always our argument, that we're an essential business. And Arizona was very Church big. Church is essential. <laughs> Arizona, kudos to Arizona, though. Right, it's true. Because the governor and those involved said that churches were essential. They did put us in the essential category. We were essential because you got to get some hope and some stuff. But me and Jason were like, and I, here's the thing. Sometimes I think, we, well, okay, I'll ask God and he'll just go boop and I'll have all... We got like our answer week by week. No. It so, was revealed. So stress <laughs> comes, here comes the stress, and you go... All right, God. And, see, and so then you go, all right, God, the only answer I need is the answer from God. That's the, and that's the only thing that will bring me peace. So I go, hey, God. Here you go. I can't fix this. Right. I, I, that was unfixable But you problem. can. So I'm going to put this into your hands and I'm going to sleep well, <laughs> knowing that you're bringing the right answer. And then every week he would just, there was like a flashlight on the ground, do this. <laughs> it was. It was like, it was right at your feet. You're like, well, I want to see up there. He's like, no, nah, we'll just see right here. Do this. Steer this way. Yeah. Do that. And I mean, stage just, outside. He just walked us. Here's a big screen, LED he walked screen. Us here. Here's, here's. Well, a yeah, yeah. We were able to have church outside uh, within the next week, and and with a huge screen and like set up, and I mean everybody pulled together, and every week God performed miracles. We looked back. It was like an Israelite every week was moment. A every week we looked back, and it was always God was a step ahead. Yeah. Always one step ahead. And then the, even the media showed up. Uh-huh. To do a big story, and we thought they, were, they, you know, they had a potential to throw us under the bus for having church outside. Right. And instead, which was happening or, or across the, but instead they come out and they said, "Look at what this church did! How awesome are they? Like right. they had, what, a, what a great idea!" Even the world. Even gave we us even favor. got favor on the news. Yeah, <laughs> which is all usually negative. <laughs> so uh, kudos to the local media here in Arizona too. So yeah, thank you guys they for did that. A great and, job. And, uh, but there you go. Uh, the idea that we wanted to present is that sometimes things come to you that are out of your control. But they're not out of God's control. Yes. And sometimes you just have to, and the Bible talks about that. Jesus actually talks about it. Sometimes you have to just give it to God. 
There's, yeah. Like we did, we, did, we didn't have all the answers for the entire pandemic, mm -mm. right? And God didn't give us all the answers for the mm -mm. pandemic right up front. So we just had to go, all right, God, it's yours. We'll do whatever you put in front of us and we'll do it great and we'll do it with excellence, which we did. He said stage, we set stage. He said, all right, here's the thing. We'll do everything we did with excellence, but we didn't get all the answers at once, which people want. People are like, I'll be peaceful <laughs> when I get all the answers. You're not going to get all the answers. You're not going to get all the you answers. You don't have that answer for that teenager yet, but here's what you do have. Yeah. God's Word says pray over that teenager, and God will lead that teenager back to Him. God will make a difference. He'll do something. He's bringing people across their path. Staying up at night, not sleeping, isn't changing the circumstances. Okay, come on now. But having it didn't work. faith in what God is doing and working and moving, yeah. that changes no, the That's a really good point. Nothing changed because Pharaoh was up all night. No, nothing at all. Nothing got better. Nothing at all. But when God brought him an answer, it brought him peace. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. And that's what we're saying to you today. What are you facing? What are you looking at? God will give you an answer of peace, right? The, the answer brings peace, which includes victory. Right. It means nothing missing, nothing broken. Right. Like God's going to bring you through this. Settle down. Don't let your heart be troubled. Checkmate. Pray that's over the day. Father, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for, for those right now who are in a tough situation and don't have an answer. But Father, you have the answer. And so we look to you now, Lord. We've been trying to figure this out on our own mind, our own works. But instead now, Father, we're looking to you. We're putting this into your hands. God, you bring the answer of peace into their life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, watch the clip. Mm. You have to click somewhere on here. Be in church this weekend and have an epic weekend. See yeah. you on Monday. Yes, yeah, see you Monday.